Hello, everybody. Welcome to the pandemic edition of Venture Ventures D&D Show. This is episode 18 or 19. I forgot to check on that. 19. 19? There we go. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, but uh, yeah, we're back now and we're going to start delving, continue to delve through hell and right now... The group is with a night hag named Mad Maggie, and they procured themselves a demon uh, crusher, I believe is the name of the vehicle. They can name it whatever they want, though, Uh, and uh, did away with Ragadraga, one of the warlords that roams the plains, and uh, let me put some ambiance on. There we go. and, um, yeah, you guys left off. You met some some Kenku, uh, Chukka and Klonk, and they were uh, requesting your help. That's how you got the Demon Grinder and uh, made it into the uh, territory of Mad Maggie and her fortress. And that's where we left off. With After just meeting Mad Maggie, she was going to go prepare a some sort of ritual that would take a day for her to repair to helpfully regain some of Lulu's memories. She let you know that she enjoys very much the hearing, collecting things and hearing about the downfall of Zeriel and therefore unlocking Lulu's memories would be in her interest as well as yours. And right now, you uh, kind of have the... You notice some things around the camp. uh, Things that need help. Mad Maggie also will say, because I feel like I didn't um, make a fine enough point, that uh, you can gain favor from her, with her, uh, by doing things around the camp. Uh, I kind of insinuated it last time, but not very strongly. Um, you can also do the opposite. So I'll be keeping track of your reputation around the camp, and you guys can choose to, uh, help people and things, or not. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like we got a uh, run of the fort for the day. Uh, look around. Is, do, do I catch wind of any armors or something of that? They seem to like metal around here. A lot of metal. A lot uh, of metal. Most of the little shacks are made of scrap metal. Dark, dark uh, iron. Uh, the type that you may be uh, have only seen in dwarven establish- establishments. Uh, if you're familiar with any of those, um, it's not the same type of metal, but the look of it uh, has some familiarity. Uh, you do have uh, Chukka um, kind of standing in between you guys and a broken down uh war machine and he's kind of looking back and forth clonk is already on the broken down war machine and they seem to be communicating to each other and uh chucka kind of hops over to you guys and he said uh help by bashaba what did an innocent woman like i do to deserve such a circumstance as this and uh, changes voice to more of a uh, rumbling, "'Tis the Hezru gear. Can't be repaired. Ain't nothing else to do but catch a new one. Help!" Uh, and then uh, continues on talking about Hezru and helping repair the war machine uh, and asking if you'll help. And Jarvis. Oh, hold, yeah, hold on. Jarvis, do you know uh, what uh, has what that gear is? Do you know what he's talking about? How the fuck did he get his war machine here? 
What are you rolling <laughs> for? Which one? To remember, to, if I know what that... Like history yeah. or what, like... Uh, I was going to do straight intelligence, okay. but history would be better. Um... <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, 16. Yeah, it's a demon. Uh, it's a... If uh, you'd like to access your metagaming knowledge of D&D, they look like slods, but not as colorful. Um, and they're more uh, spiky. So they're giant lizard things, demons. And uh, you would need to know to go over to that war machine and examine it if to know what exactly what they need on it yeah i'm gonna look i'm gonna walk over to it and see if i know how to fix it make a what investigation while he's doing that Odd 20 uh yeah there's clearly a broken gear um uh, made out of a lot of the parts on this war machine and now that you're looking at this one more closely you could surmise that on your new one as well uh, they're made out of parts of things, not inanimate objects. And this gear has these very sharp, metallic, yet organic spikes on it. And a lot of them, they're, they're, this particular large gear is missing three teeth. And, uh, yeah. Like, people teeth? No, like, uh, <laughs> like I'm saying teeth in terms of gear okay. teeth, but Got the it. teeth are comprised of these spikes from the Hezru, and uh, Chukka uh, is uh, pointing at it and saying blood, kill, 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 and it sounds like the red cap, the red caps, blood, 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 kill, kill it faster, kill it faster, give me a hand with this, I'll owe ya. What do you say? And um. It's all very disconcerting just because the mimicry trait is that way. Uh, you said, was it Hezru? Yeah. Is that what, okay. This why I got that down. My notes correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa, slow down, bud. Uh, yeah, you you helped us get here. I, uh, we can return the favor, but I don't know where to find one of those uh, oh. guys. Anyone? Yeah. Uh, pins and needles. Pins and needles fly. Fly, find Hezru, F- out, fly, Hezru. Uh, okay. I don't, uh, I don't like, I don't like them. I... Okay, okay, calm down. But it's a, uh, I'm assuming it's a flying creature that we have to go out and find. Uh, Oops. Chucka goes, no, 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 no. Uh, large, large, big. Oh. Okay. But How far no. from here? I don't know. We have to go find it. Oh, okay. We're just That's go. why you need pins and needles. Imp, imp, imp. We need I pins have... and needles in an imp? No. Pins, needles are imp. Oh. So we need an imp. Oh, an imp who can fly. Yeah. And help us find the Hezru. Yes. Is there an imp here that we need to go find? You know what yes. would be really cool? I think he's saying the names of the imps are pins and needles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Jerry. Dave Dave has a lot of experience with Kenku and <laughs> hence yeah. Um it's charades. If, if only somebody could make us fly. Oh hey. I could fly. I I still I haven't been practicing though. I practice a little bit. So, might go well. It's fine. You're a, you're a magic boy. I believe in you. Well, I mean, we could also just see if we can find pins and needles here. Uh, Good. Chuck, how about we... We're going to go into this fort here and uh, see, what the, see what the deal is here. Uh, but can we, can we go out soon? Yes. Maybe not right now? Because we have to find pins and needles, right? Yes, yes. So. Okay. So, soon. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll come back, but we'll help you. All right, guys? We'll, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I real quick. I'm just gonna stand on top of our vehicle. Yes. Look around and see if I see any like 
barrels with arrows in them. <laughs> uh, make a perception check. Well, that's good. It's a natural 19. Doo -doo -doo. Plus 4, 23. Yeah, you see some red caps kind of fighting over a bunch of arrows. Um, having your experience recently coming into the fort with uh, them, you can attempt. Guess, you can guess how it's going to go. Yeah. Unless, unless you become a suave, charismatic kitty. Um. Shit. All right, I'll deal with that on the way back. Let's go find pins and needles. Okay. So you guys want to head into further into the fort to find pins and needles or for something else? To find pins and needles. I'm still looking for an armor of some kind. Okay. Um, Jarvis, were you actively looking to shop for things? The only thing I'm the only thing I'm going to be purchasing here is um, I need more materials for learning my spells, and I also need that damn pearl. Yeah, I so think the I'm real gonna, issue around gonna be here for. is going to be money. Yeah. yeah. We have we have soul, we have one soul nope. coin each. Three. We have oh, three total. We only have three? Three total, yeah. Mm. And you split them up, so yes, technically. Uh, yeah. Kind of Somebody right. got shorted. Uh, you also notice that there's no, like, market bazaar area of this fort. Um, there's not, there's not, like, a... A trader's way or something sure. so um, it may be a little more difficult to find stuff this is where helping around the fort and you definitely think Maggie would have all that shit Jarvis uh, cool. and depending on how she feels about you guys you know yeah so she's I guess I should say as we're going in We'll also keep an eye out for people we can help. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you find uh, pins and needles just kind of fighting with each other, sitting on a on a uh, broken gate, spiked gate, and they're kind of just perched on the top, and they're uh, distracted with each other as you walk up to them. These two imps, uh, very similar looking. And, uh, yeah, they're just prodding each other, poking, <laughs> pulling each other's ears. I think um, uh, somebody should go talk to them. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll saunter up to them and, go and speak in Infernal. Uh, pins and Needles, is that you two? Uh, yes, we are Pins and Needles. Yes, the half-breed wants something, I can tell. <laughs> Me? Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I do. Uh, we were referred to you. Are you uh, available to, I don't know, are we hiring them guys? Uh, do you know Chuck and Clonk Kenku? Oh, yes, the Kenku. Yes, we know them. Oh, and we need to help them out. We need to find a Hezru. Uh, they said you could help us with that. Oh, we need we to can, kill it. We can fly for great distances and avoid all the nasties in the air. We can help you, but can you help us? I mean, probably, but what, what do you need? We need help with a red cap named Wazik. Ugh, they're the worst. And right, uh, what's up? Wazik is a vain red cap. Yes, always looking at himself. After he's done playing bones with the others, he'll sit alone behind the scrapyard over there looking into the blank metals and shining his cap and then Needles says yes <laughs> twas where we poured the demon sludge on him he didn't much like that at all no no no, no. didn't like the demon sludge and then uh, Pins uh, continues and says yes we f we we do not want retribution. We think he is planning retribution for our simple prank, and we would like you to take him out. What Kill. are the rules in here about 
killing people that are behind these gates. Oh, Do we know? Mad Maggie wouldn't care about killing a few red caps. They get she gets shipments of those in all the time. Inside check. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> also doing the same thing. Nineteen. So, uh, you think it's like she does get shipments in all the time. Uh, gray area. You, there's it's a gray area, and um, she might care, but also that also rang true that she wouldn't care so maybe i gotcha we, we could go I'm picking ask up her. what you're putting down oh we could ask her or we could just make sure that uh doesn't come back to us yeah i mean i could probably kill him for you. Uh, you and i we're on the same page <laughs> <here. laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah sure uh pins and needles Behind the scrapyard, you said, where he hangs out after playing dice? Yes, yes. That should work nicely. That should work really nicely. Is there only one scrapyard around here? Uh, we have many scrapyards, but the big scrapyard over there points. Okay. Good to know. And uh, is there a way we can definitely identify Wazek? Uh, you can ask around. They all look the same to us. Mm, they all look the same to us, too. Shit. All right, we'll ask around. Okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Let us know how it goes. I mean, he's got to be the only one hanging out alone behind the scrapyard, right? Yeah, it's just if, if we need to find him in the scrapyard, uh, it's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they like to congregate together, but he likes to be by himself every Perfect. so often. So that should work out that nicely. Should help. Yep, yep. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll let you know how that goes. Also, tell me the color of his blood. Okay. <laughs> you got it. You know, while we're here, and it's... taste it if you don't mind. No. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna right. hard line that one. Um, it's a good negotiation. At least for me, guys. Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can bring you back some blood. I make no guarantees. Oh, yes, that would be quite nice. We'll find <laughs> Hezru for you if you do that. I'll, uh, uh, I'll smell his blood for you if you want. Oh, yes, please. And and remember what it smells like. You know, okay. the smells are very close to taste. All cool. right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so okay. we will do that and get back A to good you. negotiation. <laughs> Sir? A negotiation to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Well, this one got away from me. All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> All right. So, um, when you get to the junkyard or this particular area that was pointed out to you, it's very cramped with nooks and crannies everywhere. If you've been to a junkyard in real life, uh. It's, those can be kind of windy and uh, maze-like. This is way, way worse. And there's much, many more things that can give you tetanus, and infernal tetanus is something you don't want. Uh, it's more oh, than boy. just lockjaw. So, um, so uh, let's try to find him, split up in pairs. Uh, really, I, I, I don't want to see you again while we're in this junkyard. I should just hide somewhere. <laughs> Vanish. If yeah, I can I, see you, then you're not doing a good I job. I should so. just <laughs> attack him into the top of the biggest pile? Yeah, sounds great. I could also just make you invisible while you do this. You could. I'm also really sneaky. Okay. Yeah, I feel like uh, you should make you invisible, Jarvis, because uh, I don't know what's in this junkyard, and... No offense, you're really squishy. <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> um, I am gonna cast. Is anyone in sight right now? Where, like, can anyone? Can I see anyone else that could probably see me? No, uh, there's there's tons of people around. Not close, like, not within thirty feet. But people I'm just are gonna just... kind of like walk behind something big and metal. Okay. Giant pile of metal and cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Um, make a stealth check. Well, hold on. Hold on. Before is... we do that, 
I was going to cast, once we were going to spread out, I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace for me and him, because I'm assuming that's the group, and then you two split up? Or am I going on my own and you three stay together? No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, because you, no one will see you two, and uh, everyone will see us. So, <laughs> after that roll, you can add ten to it. Uh, we'll just say it's the way it is right now. Thirty? You added ten to it? I rolled a 18, and I had a stealth modifier of 2. You, I believe you said 30. Yeah. Yeah, you said no, add 10. I said don't add 10 to it. Oh, said, don't add 10. Like, <laughs> after oh. this. Yeah, because you cast it before he said that, and Got it. Uh, I don't want to retroactively... Um... Yeah. Fair enough. Well, mod 20. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you think you're being pretty shifty. And uh, you go invisible, and now you can make another one with advantage because you're invisible and plus 10. And whoever else is going... It's just going to be me and him. Okay. We're going in, but we're looking around not stealthing. Um, and I am going to cast Cure Wounds on myself real okay. quick. 28 a... for stealth. I also got a 28. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you, Roz. Yep. Or, I mean, Rolikos. Of course. Okay. Uh, you spend some time searching the junkyard, and uh, you see groups of red caps uh, meandering together, and they all curse at you, uh, and they, you know, tell you to fuck off and uh, red cap stuff. And, uh, <laughs> um, you know, red cap. The stuff. real shitheads, uh, at least the actors who played them at the Sent into Avernus, the D&D thing, were real shitheads. But, um, it makes sense. Anyways, uh, you find. Every, every. Yeah. So, Kairos and Dave are walking around actually asking around, right? Yes. So, while we're going up and hiding, as long as I'm within, I believe it's 120 feet of them, I'm going to, every minute or so, open a line with Kairos and ask if, you know, he has any information on him. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Dave and Brian are together, and uh, Rolikos and Jarvis are separated. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I decided to mix up names there <laughs> but I wasn't going to say anything but, but I did uh, yeah so make a persuasion check either one of you make it with advantage or both of you make it Dave and Brian what do you want to do Dave both we each do our own which, uh, which like skill is it persuasion. persuasion I think we should both do our own I feel like Jerry uh, should do his own persuasion or if you're if you want to lie to I'm pretty bad caps. with persuasion, so you might want to just take advantage yourself. That makes it almost better. Actually, but I am, because red caps are just dicks, and I hate them. I am not going for a charming mode. I'm going in full um, intimidation? aggressive intimidation. Cool. They're the worst. They are. <sighs> I mean, they soak their hats in blood. So that's why they're red. <laughs> 23 23 yeah you're bullying these guys and they're rightfully scared of you uh, when they're separated from their group and one of them says he hangs out over there around the corner that's where it is and, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go have a talk with him then just talking though that's all I'm gonna do <laughs> <laughs> I was holding that one so I dropped him okay. and yeah, I walked yeah. <laughs> And into your hand that, is covered and in then, uh, blood. Yeah, gross. I like smear it. Um, and then I, uh, I actually walk in a different direction. But then the next time Jarvis checks in with me, I tell him, tell him where. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys have located Wazik, and so far only one of you is approaching. Yeah, I want to be is. Is there, like, a large scrap pile I could get on top of near him? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Not, you can't get very far way. away from him. No, 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 I'm just trying to get, like, an eagle-eye view. 
Yeah, you can get at most probably 30 feet away from him before all the junk and stuff obstructs him even from this vantage point. Okay. Um, I'm going to go into formation with Jerry, and we're going to try to uh, position ourselves a little ways away, kind of trying to cut off possible escape routes. Okay. Fair enough. I assume we can't cover everything because it's yeah. a maze of a junkyard. Yeah. But, but we will do our best. So I you... assume Jarvis will do the same, but I don't know what he's doing because he's invisible. Yeah. Do you want to ambush this guy? <laughs> if, if he starts running yes. to where he's out of range... Um, from us before I can do anything, I'm going to be holding a mind spike. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys will get a, if no one's approaching to talk and you're just going to go straight into ambush killer mode, okay. yeah, you guys get I'm... one whole round of surprise. All right. But first, uh, I didn't get a stealth from Dave and Brian. So, uh, if you guys are stealthing as you get, closer you can tell me what that is uh yeah i'm still trying to stay kind of far away i'm okay so you're not going to be in the surprise round no i was planning on more just uh being a goalkeeper okay if he runs away dave are you planning on being goalkeeper do you want in on the killing your call uh i mean i'm standing right next to cairo so i assume i'm just doing the same thing he is goalkeeper we could have separated at this point i mean like that's okay cover a little more ground uh, so, two of you, Jarvis and Rollercoast. Yep. I take my surprise round. three attacks, all sharpshooter. Yes. Third one is the special double, di- double dice damage one. There is a benefit to this, is that there's a certain level of creature that I am relatively sure I don't have to keep track of their hit points. <laughs> <laughs> slightly easier 15 to hit uh yes uh higher and way higher okay this is why i said i know i'm staying out of it and this is a cat show (laughs) it's the kid show i I don't need to be involved here (laughs) Twenty-eight plus thirty, so fifty-eight total damage. Uh, yeah. Is oh, you wow. you pincushion <laughs> this horrible, horrible little red cap that was not in <laughs> any way innocent. Uh, good. good. While good. I'm still good. invisible, since I didn't need to attack and break invisibility, yeah. I'm gonna go get some blood from him. Okay. And uh, then, oh, I, I'm going. A... I'm going in for my arrows. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, roll a d20. I should have you do this more, roller coast, but roll a d20, see if any of them. Eight. Alright. Uh, you're still you good. Go you get all three. Uh, and you're gonna bathe yourself in the blood? No. Give me I... the blood, Lord. Give me the blood. Nope. I, um. <laughs> there will be blood. Anyone? From my last, my last, uh, healing potion I took, I probably have an empty vial still. I've abandoned my son! But try to get his blood into my <laughs> my health potion vial. <laughs> Sorry, Gary, I was just... It's all good. This whole f- scene in the church where there will be blood. <laughs> I've abandoned my child! I will be <laughs> right Stop back. Stop shooting your dog. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have a competition in me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very quotable movie. It's so... It's. I just rewatched it. Uh, a week or two ago. It's so goddamn good. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the bandy track. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen it. You haven't seen their Drainage. movie? Drainage! It's so good. It seems very long. It's so good. Oh, it's, one of my, it's one of my favorite movies. It's from the director it, of Boogie it's very good. And Yeah, many, P.T. Anderson. Yeah, and in many other great movies. Uh... Anyways, uh, his so best movie, I feel like. I I agree. It's one of it's up there for me. Um, give me so, the blood, Lord. <laughs> give me the blood, Lord. Give me the blood. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I just can't. I gotta stop. Um, 
<laughs> so you fill how many vials are you filling there, Gary? Just a healing potion full of the blood. Okay. So I can get a full who's, healing potion. Who's smelling anything? I'm gonna smell it. Okay. What so, color is it? It's got a purplish hue to it. Uh, the the blood. Um, I would say. Like I was painting. I was painting this pit fiend. Uh, recently. Ooh. And, oh, I saw that one. And uh, I mixed red and purple, and it's kind of it's kind of like. Purple. It's kind of like you see the red highlights in on like on his chest on the side mm -hmm. of his chest, kind of like that color because that's kind of mixed. Maroon. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I don't know what color that is. But. What does it smell like? Oh, the uh, blood. Um, the blood <laughs> smells uh, daisies, like iron, and it smells of something much worse. But something you've smelled, uh, it's just uh, yeah. Um, everything sulfur. around hell, sulfur and uh, terribleness. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you want to head back and find pins and needles. Should we do anything with his body or just leave it here? Like maybe like you. hide it in the scrap. I'm thinking we should just like hide it somewhere in the scraps. Put some metal on top of him. I'm not over by you. Sounds great. Oh yeah. Do it, right. do, live back. your life. Do what you're gonna do. So you're gonna Broca, drag him? You want to help me uh, move his body and put him under some scrap metal so it's not as obvious? Sure. Why not? Okay. So as you're dragging the body, you get scared for a second there, Jarvis, because you realize you're getting covered in blood. And for a second, it's visible before it melds into your invisibility and the magic takes over. Uh, but you find a place, and if you want to find a good place, or leave it up to me, you let me know. But if you want to find a good place, you can roll an investigation or perception check. Right, bro. <laughs> uh, ten. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's a five. Uh, 13. Okay, yep. You got a 13 worth of hiding spot. Cool. <laughs> All right. Heading back to Pins and Needles? Heading okay. back to Pins and Needles. You head on back, and they're still sitting there. Uh, I, drop, I drop my invisibility. Okay. Uh, you are now visible, and they're sitting there talking in Infernal about uh, finding the last time they found Hezru's where they were check there they're just discussing where they would fly to uh, and um, Needles is saying you're assuming they'll you're assuming they'll f do it and be successful before they get overrun with those damn red caps and uh, Pins is just saying oh they'll do it they'll do it they'll be successful and then you walk up. As I'm walking up, I'm kind of just like swishing the the health potion bottle oh, around. Oh yeah. Looks like Pins is the one I like better because <laughs> he believes in us. Oh. Pins is right. Oh yes, bring it here. I told you, Needles. I told you. <laughs> How was it? Was it glorious? How was the blood? How did it smell? Disgusting. How did I it didn't smell it. Taste? Anyone taste it? So we Smell, wanted to keep it smells it. like sulfur and iron. Mm. Okay. I was hoping thinking it might be something worse, but it smells like he was in a lot of pain. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. That makes me so happy. And Jerry like winks over to the rest of his crew. <laughs> <laughs> Just not trying to hide the wink at all. <laughs> Yeah. That man didn't feel it, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think he had time. Yeah, it was the most humane, lack of a better term. How many, how many arrows ever. went through him? Three all Three. together? Three. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, hold on. How does that work? Three arrows hit him simultaneously? Not simultaneously. Well, no, it was one after another. <laughs> and we don't know exactly seconds. where he died. Like, boom, boom, boom. That's what it was like. And it's like entirely the, possible the he died after the third arrow was shot, like. Like, they're all in the air at the same time. Yes, but, yeah. indeed. Sure. You know, you got to double tap. Make sure yeah, that you confirm the kill. Technically, the first one could have killed him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
What was it? Do you remember what the first one was, Roller Coast? Uh, it would have been 18, oh, I think. Yeah, so no. He shot them at different <laughs> He shot them at different arcs so there that they go, do dude. all hit at the same time. That'd be you gotta, awesome. You gotta work he is very with talented. The, yeah. Uh, perfect. And they go, yes, we will help you now. So what are you going to do with this blood? Do you really want to know? A little curious. I'm going to rub it on my body. <laughs> Maybe I'm not so curious. Do Where you on your body? I'm going to rub it everywhere, all over my body. That's how you get coronavirus, <laughs> sir. Coronavirus? <laughs> Is that a new virus? <laughs> yeah. The, that's like that's like comes, medicine down here. Comes from the uh, the blood of red caps. <laughs> oh, sounds delicious. You drink coronavirus down here to cure yourself from yeah, other things that are worse. You're just listing positives for them. Maybe Mahadi <laughs> has coronavirus drinks. <laughs> Next time Mahadi shows up, I think I'll look for it. Thank you for the recommendation. I heard your blood ah. turns purple. My blood? Mm hmm. Oh, I don't know. Do you want to find out? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, I plan on you not getting hurt in this next adventure, so. Okay. Well, so, so what, what's going to happen here? Are you going to fly out, find them, tell us where to go, or yes, are we, we supposed will to come follow back you? And, and tell you, well, it depends what you want to do. Do you want to follow us, or do you want us to go out and find them and then come back? Will they still like we be there if go with them? I don't I know. Can't, I can't follow them. They fly. Yeah, we can, can't, 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 like, we ride on one. Can't. I guess Blech! we can drive by them. Tiny. Small. Oh. And we could, dr we could drive well, behind them. Yeah. You will be using. And then we we got to burn fuel. Yeah. Soul yeah. coin fuel. Why, why don't you go find them? We'll stick around town. Can... Uh, Mad Maggie, there might be more people we can help around here. Uh, why don't you go find them? Tell us where they are. We'll we'll deal with it. Can uh, Cairo or not Cairo? Rollercoast is small, right? No. Oh, he's smaller medium. than a lot of us. He's a medium creature. Oh, so he couldn't he couldn't ride on. I'm no. six feet tall. <laughs> oh, they're like two feet tall. They're they're small. Uh... <laughs> Two to three feet, maybe. I don't know. Imps are tiny. <laughs> uh, they are small. Definitely not rideable. Got it. So, uh, staying here, gonna let them go out and come back. That's that's what I think. Yeah. All right. If I'm gonna go see what Lulu's doing. I'm gonna go look for someone else to help so I can get more. Lulu's hanging out with cred. Chuck and Clonk. Okay. <laughs> I want more street cred. I want that pearl. Uh, all right. So, um, you did that, and you're still helping Chucka and Clonk, and uh, Needles before he goes out says, "I will tell Mad Maggie of how much good you do here." By good, I mean bloody good. And then flies off with pins. Yep. And uh, you, in, I'll remind you what else you saw there in Fort Knucklebone before we signed off last episode. You saw her f hideous flesh golem doing limping and dancing. Uh, oh, with yeah. red I was going to ask about him with red caps kind of mimicking and making fun. And you also saw a flame skull, a skull on fire, uh, looking around junk, the junk around the fort. Um, and yes. Um, I'd like to look for the flesh. Golem. Mickey. Mickey. All right. Uh, he, he went to follow Mad Maggie when she walked away, right? Went into the... Remember how uh, the fort uh, has... It's like a hand mm -hmm. rock, and in between the fingers is kind of like where you saw the caves uh, bored into the rock, and so they had headed in there. 
and uh, you can find Mickey. And uh, what do you do when you find Mickey? I uh, first try to greet him in Infernal because I'm not entirely sure he uh, understands language. <laughs> oh, one sec. I want to... I don't think so, but I'll make sure... Yeah, can speak Infernal, uh, but ha due to that massive, disgusting, intestine-like thing going into his mouth, uh, can't well speak. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to ask him if... Uh, uh, does your foot hurt? And I start, like, pantomiming, like, like hopping on a foot and pointing to the foot. He kind um, of does it does it hurt? You gotta squints, and it's very disconcerting because it's two different eye areas that are squinting at you. And uh, make a persuasion check because he's clearly doesn't know what you your purpose here is. And sure. One sec. Something very weird just happened. I had that <gasps> ambiance going on in the background, but oh, then it ended screaming. and an ad started playing. And oh, that no. was a very strange background to suddenly have during this conversation. That was <laughs> a telemarketer <laughs> from hell call you? Basically. <laughs> All right. So you said a persuasion? <laughs> yes. Okay. Try to count. 15? <laughs> oh. Okay. So Mickey squints at you and lifts up his foot and... <sighs> okay, so I look at the foot. Is there like a thorn in it? Or is there something visibly wrong with this abomination of a foot? <laughs> uh, there's a pretty sizable... I mean, he's a large creature. There's a pretty sizable piece of bone devil lodged in his foot. Hmm. Oh, that's your problem right there. You got bone devils. Am I right? They're the worst. And I just grab it and just yank. Uh oh. <laughs> Isn't that like plugging a hole? And then I immediately, like, as soon as I <laughs> yank it out, I shove my other hand in and uh, pump him with a cure Make wound. Make a strength check. Okay. Just straight strength? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mod 20. Whew. Yeah, you rip it out like like a ripping off a Band-Aid. Um, so... And then in Infernal, I'm like, it's okay, buddy, it's okay, buddy, it's okay, buddy. It's like, ask your wounds. <laughs> and unfortunately, because there Damn. was no warning, he's going to make a slam attack. That's fair. <laughs> and I'm going to roll to see if he goes berserk. Oh, uh, that's fair, too, I suppose. I'm not a medic. What can I say? <laughs> you could have oh, tried okay. to be. You could have pretended. Uh, okay, slam is going to be this. That's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I'm glad I healed. <laughs> he... Still might end me. And he grabs you. You rip it out. <laughs> and as you're approaching to cure wounds, he grabs you by your your armor picks you up and slams you down and you partially on your head and you take 25 points of bludgeoning oh, real glad I healed myself <laughs> but, <gasps> oh god do you yeah okay I get why that was a bad idea do you get up and still cure wounds him I just I don't even get up I just reach and just like <laughs> tap his foot <laughs> and I just here and you uh, you see, you see him start to like, just gesticulate and like he's just getting enraged, kind of like similar 
very slightly similar to uh, Jerry, but not at all the same because it's a freaking flesh golem, a very disgusting right. one. And uh, you cure it, and he starts to breathe back. There's a max max heal too on that care wounds. That's good. Full eleven points. Uh, and uh, Mickey bends down and goes and pats you nicely and starts walking around and uh, walks kind of outside <clears throat> this area kind of to where more red caps are and red caps were actually waiting for him to come out so they can make fun of him more and as they see him walking they're going what the fuck happened what the fuck is this I walk out shortly after him and I just walk out and start flipping them off <laughs> uh, fuck you, guy! And they, they're, they're they're like they're pissed. Like I'm a wreck. <laughs> I look horrible. I'm at nine points. And all, most of them are cursing at you and telling you that they're gonna uh, play jump rope with your intestines and stuff like that. Uh, one of them is just like, "Does this guy realize we could easily kill him right now?" And that's kind of like what you hear in the background, but they don't attack. Uh, not yet, at least, but they're very <laughs> Uh And Mickey goes back to you and uh, holds out his hand and, like it wants to shake your hand. I do. Okay. And, and uh, Mickey walks back into further into the fort, and you're pretty well sure that He's going to uh, report tell, back. Yeah, report back. Tell Mad Maggie what happened. So I don't know what you guys have been doing, but I walk back up to the vehicle looking even worse than I <laughs> started when I walked over. Oh, I just had to chat with Mickey. He's a good guy. <laughs> nice guy. He's a stand up. You look citizen. like hell. You see well, a big was a... dent in his armor? <laughs> you didn't oh, look that... like that when you left. There's still like dirt <laughs> on his face. Some conversations are done with fists, but they can still be positive. Do your, right. horns, do your horns go out at all? They go in front of me, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so your horns hurt, like the at the base, because <laughs> you got slammed in a way in which they could have broken. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Uh... Yeah, no, my head is pounding. I, I feel awful. <laughs> that was good. I want, I, I want to go talk to those red caps that were fucking with the arrows earlier. I'm going to okay. see what's going to happen over here. Okay, you approach them, and they're um, still fucking around with them. So, some of them are actually fletching more. Uh, others of, like, one of them is pulling out some of the fletching and fucking with them to, to fuck with the guy making it. And, um, but they're generally still being red caps and screwing around and being horrible. Right. In my best infernal. <coughs> Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> they turn and they go, <laughs> fuck you want. Uh, what's it cost to get some arrows around here? Your soul. Uh, do you have anything that's, like, physical that you need? Your blood. How much? All of it. <laughs> that's too much, Steve. Listen, I just need arrows. Your fur. I want to look like Kitty. No. No. <laughs> Your tail. Um, how about, like, a soul coin? Oh, yeah. Soul coin will do. Oh, oh, good. I mean, how many... What's the going rate of arrows in this place? Oh, you can get, like, one arrow per soul coin. That's a terrible deal. Make an insight check. I don't care what he thinks. I think that's a terrible deal. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Uh, it's pretty goddamn clear that this red cap is... Uh, yeah, just... Lying trying to, me? to to screw you over and lying, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um so what about like fifty? 
Okay, deal. I feel like I'm still overpaying. <laughs> but I feel no like deal. a soul coin gets you a lot of money for a lot of things. Apparently. But I really need arrows, and I already made enough quote. So We should find out how much a soul coin is totally worth. What do you 50 mean? arrows, as of right <laughs> now. At least 50 arrows. <laughs> I hand over my soul coin, and I take 50. Oh, I, I make sure these things look good before, like, okay. I don't want all janky, no tail feathers, yeah. missing a tip. Uh, you find a couple that are missing a tip and some feathers, and you point it out to him, and he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. And he yeah. takes yeah. those, and he hits, hits the red cap that was pulling him out, <laughs> and then goes and finds three more and puts them back to make an even 50. Perfect. Uh, you have 50 for one soul coin, and as you hand over the soul coin, the one who is doing negotiating goes, I have done it! And is holding the soul coin in the air and walking amongst the red caps, and they're all going, No fucking way! How did he do that? And they're all just, like, <laughs> cursing at him or impressed with him. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to come back and kill him later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wait I'm, I'm just waiting for you to come tell me so I can go steal it back with my mage hand. <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same page here. <laughs> uh, I go... How far away from our vehicle is this going on? Oh, like a few hundred feet. Okay. I go back and tell the party what just transpired. Why did you give away your soul coin? I needed arrows. Without arrows, I'm useless. You're well, let's pretty go... sure you got screwed up. You, you, oh, I'm, you got, I know. Yeah. I know let's, I did. Let's this go get your soul coin back. This is the equivalent of, like, paying in real life. I don't know how much arrows cost, but I assume it's I, I can get pretty close to what they actually are. Uh, it's like paying $10,000 for 50 arrows. Okay. Did you Did you see where he put it? Uh, he, he's not a big man, and he seemed pretty proud of it, so I'm assuming he's going to be holding on to it if we go back there right now. I should just, you know, steal it from him. I only have to be, uh, let's see, you, you three other, feet away. You other uh, folks in the party okay with stealing it back? Oh, I'm, uh, do what you're going to do, shout if you need me, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down and see if I can <laughs> hammer out this huge dent in my armor. How many of them are there? I'll come running, though, if, if you start screaming. There's yeah, how many dozens there? and dozens of red caps you can see currently. Over there, there's <laughs> dozens. There's a metric ton of them. That sounds fun. We may want to wait till he goes to sleep. Do, di do these guys sleep? Uh, hey, Chucka, do these guys sleep? <laughs> Chucka goes, Um... Um, I don't know. Um, God damn it, Chunka. It's Chaka. Who did he? Chaka. It's Chaka. Well, you're Chunka now. Um, <laughs> no. Um. The best part about learn. this guy is is he heard all of these people say these things. <laughs> I wonder if we can lure this guy away somehow towards us. Maybe um, a rolling soul coin that just ro infinitely rolls towards us. Can you make infinite rolling I feel like I could maybe soul? do that with minor illusion? Maybe? Sorry I can about that changing ambiance, uh, listeners. We can't. Oh, is that something that we're not supposed to be able to hear? You, I, you, I haven't set it up so you guys can hear it. That's oh. why I just linked the, uh, the link. Ah, um, yeah, I could make a five foot object. What if and... you bring a shit ton of them over here, though? Like, what if there's like the whole crew chases it over here? Uh, could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, Kairos looks like hell. Look at him. He's bleeding if, from but, most but of his he's, orifices. If, if he's the only one that sees it, and he wouldn't tell his buddies because he would want it all for himself, possibly? 
It's a big if. Yeah, it is a big if. I mean, I'm down to just scope it out for a little bit, see what happens. All right. If you're down. I'm so down. The, the two of you. Get him alone. No, no, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. What's going on, bud? You guys need my help? You gonna take on dozens of madcaps and redcaps? I don't know if we want to take on dozens. I was hoping to get them alone. But the more the merrier, I think. With us, not with them. All right, I'll go with you. Kairos, you okay? You okay to stay here by yourself? Yeah, I'll hang out with Chuck and Clonk and, uh, and Lulu. And Lulu. What oh, never this, mind. What if the soul <laughs> coin started talking to him? What's the man? And I don't told know. him where there's more soul coins. I shoot arrows. Go do your wizardry. So, I'm... you guys are going to go head out and try to do some recon? Yeah, I think that would be intelligent. Stealthily or no? Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. Okay. Those who I are going, will... roll stealth. Can you do that thing you did to me earlier Six. where, like, yep, I am once <laughs> again I'm super sneaky? Yep. Jerry, add uh, 10 to that. 16. 30. Oh, wait. What's my self? Plus 6. Thank God 36. he fucking did that. 32. 16. 16, 16, and 32. Divided by 3 is 64 divided by 3. 21. 20, oh, thank God for averaging. Thank you, Dave. 19 <laughs> point. 5. It's close enough. Uh, <laughs> you guys sneak up, and it's very hard to stealth. Uh, where there's so many red caps and mad caps, um, some of them are see you, but are are distracted with other things. Um, but most of them don't. And uh, he's around people, and is now clutching it at in his chest. Because uh, others are trying to grab it from him to look at it, and they're just I just want to look at it. What is your problem? And he's not allowing it. How long do you want to stake out this red cap? <laughs> Probably a good ten minutes at least. In those ten minutes, you don't see. I don't see him leave. He doesn't time... get away. One time when he's not away from any of these red caps, um, not a one. Not one. And that's the norm of what you've seen around here. Like, Wazik, who you assassinated, was the weird one who went off by himself. Oh, okay. Um, They're very much pack, kind of pack creatures here in this here fort. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I really want to kill him, but I don't think it's going to be a good idea. So if you have some wizardry things you could do to get that away from him sneakily, I'm all for it. Um, yeah. Uh, what's so they're at? They're on the wall to the entrance. Is where they're at. Who? The all these red caps. No, they're uh, in a general area of little huts and stuff. And what is the nearest? thing to those huts like nearest building or nearest like there's no building the structure are the huts um yeah roller coaster so we can lead them into a hut possibly maybe possible we might have to kill there might be multiple of them coming so be prepared to take out multiple of them at once if necessary um, well, what I'm thinking is, you know, we could go in one of the huts, I can get in his head, I can make it sound like the coin's talking to him, and if he wants more, tell him to come into the hut, where you do some killy-killy. I need to be far away, inside a hut's not my uh, best okay. spot. That's true. I mean, Jerry well, We can just try to lead him away. Murder. What else is around, what else is around here other than the huts? Like um, there's scrap... And 
stuff like that. Uh, there's more junk areas. Um, this is on the outskirts of Fort Knucklebone from, if you look at the picture I sent, um, this is not in the rock area, the hand-like rock area. Um, how so, far yeah. away can you be from him? Susan? So for what I was thinking is I can be, so if I do, um, so message, I have to be 120 feet. Mm -hmm. But once I get him closer to me, within 30 feet, as long as I'm not visible, I could put, after I message to him, I could put a, like, pot of coins that he sees that goes towards. Um, and then lure him away from the group. Once he sees that, he'll start running, you know, towards that. I can tell him, hey, look over in this direction if you want more coins. And then I could be nowhere near it, and you could be nowhere near it, and, you know, shoot him once he's farther away. Sure. Let's and try worst that. case scenario, it doesn't work, and we're both somewhere else where he can't see us, and no one else can see us, because you can be far, and I just have to be thirty feet away from wherever this pot is, um, hiding somewhere. Maybe you should throw a bean at him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I he like likes that. beans. I don't know. Um. So. Um. I mean, throw Bean at the red, like at the red caps, or get him yeah. away first. No, 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 get him like, away like, first. Okay. And then like worst it. case scenario, <laughs> throw a Bean in there. I like this idea. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. And if need be, can you also haste me after doing all this? Will you have enough spells? <laughs> Let me see. Because I may need to go get Kairos, and I'm the only one that's going to get. I've back got. Four I can do. A round and a half. I can do two. I can do two more hastes. Okay. Um, Beautiful. So I'm good on haste. Uh, minor illusion and message are both um, cantrips. So I say we go about 120 feet away from the group. Um, we're just in range of him, and we're hiding somewhere. I have to be, you know, 30 feet of wherever I want to put this coins, and then yeah. Yeah, that's good. Like that gives it. enough cool. space for Jerry to get in there if we need to assassinate him quick. And cool. We're doing this. So, what do you? You're you're <laughs> make a perception check to find a suitable place where there aren't red caps and mad caps, which is going to be very difficult because they're everywhere. Can I also do this to help him? Uh, you can roll it as well, or yeah. he can have advantage. Roll it. Oh, good thing you rolled. Fourteen. That's the higher number. I mean, you don't really <laughs> find anywhere that fits exactly what you need. Um, you you think you're going to be seen by someone, some some of these things. Okay. Uh, regardless of where you go. Uh, unless, like, you want to attempt to lure him to a junkyard area a few hun more hundred, hundreds of feet further. Let me let me just before you guys do this, stay here. Let me go get Kairos. <laughs> I feel this is this is gonna go poorly. I'll be right back. And I full sprint to go get Kairos. I know he's only a couple hundred feet away. Zap. Okay. <laughs> We're uh As I said, Sap, a little bit of blood like spat out of the <laughs> I assume you short rested while we were gone, no? No. Uh, is there enough time? Gone. No. Damn. Oh. Didn't think so. Uh, um, I give you a uh, guess not. a solid cure wounds real quick. Cool, thanks. Or <laughs> uh, five health. Sweet. Fuck. I, I look incredible now. That's all I got for you. We're gonna good. go start some shit with some red caps. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Should we just wait God, an hour? Them. I mean, sure, but do you want to come over there and wait? Yeah, sure. Lead the way. I'm ready for battle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to go over to the area with red caps and attempt to do a short rest. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on. Just following 
roller coast. Oh fuck. Uh, what could go Kairos on? needs to take a short rest. So I will stand watch actively. And you're getting taunted and thrown. St- oh, rocks. <laughs> Why'd you, you bring me over here, man? I was sitting right next to the car. It was great. Holy paladin, <laughs> think you're so great. I'll smash your face in and lick the oh, blood. Oh, okay. man. I hate him okay, so much. Back, back to the car. Back to the car. We'll come back in an hour. <laughs> Um, There's a bunch of stuff about horror and, you know, where it can go from there. What if I... What if he... I'm going to go ahead and roll a hit dice if that's okay. Sure. Uh, if, If you... If Kairos is maintaining composure, sure. Difficultly. (laughs) <laughs> With difficulty. Go ahead, Jarvis. I'm just rolling. <laughs> no, I was just thinking alternatively of like, you know, putting him to sleep. Putting Kairos to sleep? No. Oh. <laughs> asshole with your coin. What is that going to do? Somebody else is just going to take it. Yeah. If we just get him over here, we'll take him out in yeah. five seconds. This is true. We just They're going to see us do it is the problem. We might have to kill a couple more. They see. Or, you know, we just make him They're invisible. like cats. Okay. Think... <laughs> they're going to be real scared. Think of, think of this area and much of the areas outside the actual fort proper as it's like a busy playground there's plenty of like nooks and crannies and little places for these little red caps and mad caps to run into and hide or whatever but there's that it's like a busy there's that many little creatures running around maybe we should just you know lure them into a tent what tent? There's huts there's, everywhere. There's little tiny huts that are the size for red caps. So I'm not. I, I'm not getting in there. <laughs> oh, they're like tiny, tiny. Got it. They're small I'm, creatures, so they're not. Oh, yeah. roller coaster. I feel like you'd be really cozy. I. Th- I could we attempt to lure him? Roller lure coaster. It's very much like a cardboard box. An empty car. Yeah, but it's, it's got to be filthy. My fur is going to get so dirty in there. <laughs> but you think you could fit so comfy? Like, <laughs> you could just, he just comes imagining. in and you just it. snap his neck. I'm just imagining like having to lick myself afterwards. Oh, okay. God knows what's in there. Fair enough. A lot of blood. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> what if we try to lead him back to the car? Do you think you could get him that far? I could try. With some good... Persuasion rolls or deception rolls. Oh, I I got an idea. I'd... Okay, I feel a lot better now, guys. I look a lot better too. This is all because I... you got swindled. <laughs> You're just now pissed <laughs> off at them. All right, I feel I, I feel like I spend enough time interacting with these shitheads that I feel like I can talk with them on some level and get them to come back to the car. Possibly, I'm tell him you got pose it as a deal. Him. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I, I see he came into some money. I got some stuff for him to sell. What would Red Caps want? Uh, blood, pain. Tell him you got work for more soul coins. Ooh, or that. You have one. You could even show him one if need oh, be. I do. Good call. All right, I got this. Which one is it? That one right there. All right. The one with the soul coin. Yep. Yep. I see him. And um, so I'm going to walk. I'm going to beeline straight towards him. And red caps are small, and I don't like them anyway. Um, so if any of them are giving me shit or standing in my way, I'm just going to kind of like face palm them, just like just like basketball shove, like not not hurting them, just, just move. Um, and when I get close enough to him, I'm going to go, hey, shithead, got a deal for you. To the... To the one with the soul turns coin. around is the fuck do you want horny whore boy you idiot and i <laughs> take my soul coin out of the out of my pocket and hold it between two fingers 
yeah, I got more too. You just got the one right because you seem real proud of it. Yes, it was fair trade though. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't swindle this idiot out of it. <laughs> I totally believe you. Stupid just cat like I'm man. I'm not going to swindle you. Got a good Anyway, deal. you want more? You seem capable because you got the make one. A pr- All make these a, other ones don't. Make a. What do you think that would be? Persuasion or deception? Deception, because I have okay. no deal for him. Okay. <laughs> make a deception check. Damn it. Well, maybe. 11. Because. <laughs> no. I have one. That's good enough for now. Oh, I'm dealing with you, Red Cap. Sucks so hard. Look, Mad Maggie said I need to get you to come help me. Just. Before I. Smash you under my foot. Just follow me. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is going to work. Is there... Uh, I guess that would just be... Literally the same roll. Another five for another 11. Um, no, Jerry's, yeah. Jerry's like... He feels like a wink-wink to Kairos. He's just like... He's like... Please, sir. I need to... I need to save my family. I don't care about your stupid family, orc boy. But can I make a persuasion check? Sure, at disadvantage. (laughs) Oh. Ah. Uh. Disadvantage. I know. Uh, Damn it. Uh, 11. (laughs) Fuck. Another 11. 11's across the board. Uh, I have negative one persuasion. You're not making headway, and uh, this this uh, red cap is starting to turn away and walk away. No, I don't... No. I'm gone now. I'm gone now. My Apart. eyes turn black, and I turn around, and I... St- Stomp away angrily, hopefully making the other red caps very uncomfortable. Some of them, some of them uh, <laughs> get out of your way a lot quicker than they did when you were walking towards it. Others are just snickering and laughing. Reasonable. Well, sorry guys, that uh, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I was I was pretty sure I could get him to come with me, but I I didn't. <clears throat> but I didn't. But I but I. Uh, could have killed him i suppose but i was standing right there everyone around me would have been messy he was walking away though i assume he's still surrounded by other red caps when he walked away right yeah yeah okay. anyone how, else thoughts ideas how big is the biggest like demon or not how big is there any like anything relatively my size around us that's maybe not a red cap wait can have another idea just kenku the truck and clonk uh, oh, okay it's just red camps in this, in this it's port? mostly mad caps and red caps yeah are mad caps bigger no they just soak their hats in demon ichor instead of blood oh okay i got i got a i got an idea you guys yeah, I'm here, guys. I'm, uh, I got a buddy here now. You know, I could go. I'm, I could go just to ask Mickey and just tell Mickey that like these red caps stole our soul coin, and see if he can just come. You know, take it. Okay. I I don't know if he can. He doesn't seem to like red caps very much either. But he has Mad Maggie's sway. Maybe it's worth a shot, right? Sounds good. I go back to Mickey. <laughs> You go find Mickey. It takes you a few minutes. Uh, he's hanging out outside some area of the fort. Uh, it's all very confusing in here, and you don't really know what type of area this is. Uh, it's just standing there and pats you on the head as you come up to him. Hey, Mickey. Good good to see you. Glad the foot's still feeling good, yeah? Um... I got a bit of a problem with a with a red cap. Kind of took one of my buddy's soul coins, and I mm. uh, can't seem to get it back without all the other red caps kind of, you know, trying to kill us. It'd be messy. I don't suppose you could uh, 
apply some leverage and get our soul coin back, could you? When you say took, uh, he kind of goes, <gasps> and then starts walking out towards oh, Red God. Caps, not really going in any particular dire- direction, uh, kind of waiting for you to point where to go. Oh, yeah, okay, so I, I oh, yeah, it's this way, here, come this way, so and, I, and I go back, like, this. by way of my friends, so that I can introduce Mickey to the group. I mean, uh, we, we met him, kinda, a, didn't we? Right, but, like, on a more, like, hey, guys, this is Mickey, Mickey, this is the guys. Uh, and he seems distracted, like, he doesn't want to, like, make nice with you guys right now, he wants to He's, uh, he's kill. focused. This way, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> and I point him in the direction. All right. I turn, I turn I his shoulders. An I, <laughs> I, mean, I knock an arrow just in case. Just in case of what? <laughs> Mickey needs backup, man. If he starts getting swarmed by these things, and can play. you imagine trying to get your soul coin back and you spend fifty of your arrows? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it because now I know I can at least get sixty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, shit. <laughs> that's good uh yeah so M- mickey goes berserk and starts grabbing red caps <laughs> and smashing them into the ground and they start attacking him and uh clonk goes uh oh <laughs> and starts running into the inner fortress to get maggie and he's taken out a good half dozen eight of these red caps and he's getting harmed himself where he's, do i I'm, see the one with my soul coin I'm oh he throwing... smashed that one into the ground uh oh okay so i was <laughs> gonna going, make sure that one went down i'm going towards and i'm just gonna throw a bean into the middle of all of this i'm going in for <laughs> the soul coin cool <laughs> okay uh, so the bean goes first and then you're oh, man. uh hold on can I, <laughs> and then, can I hold travel on. faster I, than a bean fly? <laughs> I, 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 where is the guy with the soul coin in reference dead. to where... Oh, wait, wait, he's already dead? Yeah. Oh. What's his face killed him? Oh, I thought he hasn't... He Never mind. Oh, That's God. what Rollercoast was checking on to make sure he died. And Jake I missed said that, that part. He's definitely it's dead. Okay. <laughs> this is when it pays off to... Fuck. Pay attention. The bean has been thrown. Roll yep. a D. Roll a D100. Yep. Oh, don't man. look at the Fuck. charts. I'm not. I thought uh, I was looking at what I can do and wasn't paying attention to the fact that he's dead. I well, loved the bean plan before we came up caps. with a new plan. A whole bunch of red caps are about to die. Maybe. We might be about to die. <laughs> we might be about to die. I mean, we're not next to them. Well, How we'll far just find out. Mean? You're a weak little wizard. I can throw it at least 30 feet with my mage hand. My mage hand. And I'm pretty sure a pyramid is bigger than 30 feet. Um, indeed. Anyway. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Could you imagine how mad Maggie's going to be if we spawn a fucking pyramid right here? Let's hear it. Come on. What's the number? High numbers are crazy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. Uh, you feel a rumble. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> you feel a rumble coming out of the ground, and the the sand and dirt oh fuck is vibrating, and uh, starts to part, and you see a pyramidal shape start coming out of the ground, sixty foot square comes out of the ground, and there's a entrance port in this. Uh, pyramid. And, uh, yeah, what do you... The, basically, the fighting stops uh, from the red caps, but Mickey is going berserk, and about this time, Maggie is walking down. Fuck! Going, what in the hell is going on here? What in the fuck have you guys done? Why is there a goddamn pyramid springing up in my fort? What the... F- and just incredulous at what is going on. Why is Mickey freaking out? Oh, Mickey, calm down. Calm down now, sweet pie. Come on oh. now. So, I'm sorry, Maggie. I'm going I think... in for the soul coin. I'm already gone. Okay, make a... Perfect. 
Um, I, I go towards Maggie. <laughs> are, you, are you doing it stealthily? Well, no, I don't think anything... I would have been running as the bean was being thrown. <clears throat> okay, so make a... Um, um, So this pyramid is going to be pushing the body of this red cap yeah, out yeah. of the way. And I'm and trying to keep eyes on him as to, he's tumbling. Yeah, and you're going to try to pickpocket this thing stealthily or unstealthily. You might just rummage through it. Yeah. I don't, yeah I don't so care. make an investigation check. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find the soul coin, and uh, other red caps are looking at you. Not fight. Not like they're just freaking out at half between the pyramid and half between Mickey. And uh, Mickey is only slightly being calmed down by Mad Maggie as she begins, but she's able to get a hold on Mickey's berserker rage. And calm him down eventually. <clears throat> uh, and she goes up to you guys and goes, What in the actual fuck? <laughs> totally reasonable reaction. I can explain at least part of this. Uh, so Just when I thought you guys were decent, evil people. Wait, hold on. You're looking at it all wrong here. You're looking at it all wrong. See... This was a well-intentioned thing that happened here. Uh, it just kind of went a little bit sideways. Uh, you know, Mickey, is, he's a buddy of ours. I helped him. He's, if you notice, his foot's yeah, a lot better. Yeah, he told me, right. and now you got him all riled up. I did, unintentionally. I mean, we did want his help, but uh, so my buddy, uh, Rollercoast, the cat, he uh, it was a deal he made with a red cap, and it, it wasn't a very good deal. Uh, the red cap kind of swelled him a little bit. It yeah, was a was little it, unfair. Was it a deal? Mm, Did the I would say no. Steal it from. I would say yes. Uh, I would say yes. He certainly. I don't know why I'm turning into a southern lawyer, but I am. <laughs> dice, these dice. Uh, that is a t t persuasion hmm. or deception. Did you say? Uh, well, you did say um, that he did steal him. Are you sticking yeah. with that? Okay, so deception. So ten. She goes, you may feel like a red cap stole from you, but a deal is a deal. If you're stupid enough to give a soul coin for whatever the hell you got for it, that's your problem. Now you're destroying my camp, killing red caps. I mean, I, I get more of them all the time. Well, well, here's what I'm saying. Just... It was it was it was a well-intentioned thing. I was talking to Mickey. We're friends now, and I was just telling the story, and he, he got upset about it because you know red caps, obvious reasons. Um, and he started going, you know, off the handle, which I didn't know he does. Now I know he does that, and uh, He's I will a keep that in mind. Damn flesh golem! What the <laughs> fuck do you think he does? Oh, well, I mean, I assumed he could. I didn't assume he was going to. I, I was just telling my story, and uh, just and when so the, you he guys were doing decent stuff around here, helping people out, you go and. Well, cause the, I'm this getting ruckus. to the. I'm getting to this thing. This is the this is the best part of it. I mean, if you look at it, it's it's, it's really nice. It's a gorgeous pyramid. You're it's you're going to be the only pyramid. fort in hell, that has a pyramid inside of your walls. I don't want a pyramid <laughs> inside of my walls. I would have put a pyramid inside of my walls. May I ask, I can surmise a reason why a pyramid is inside of my walls, but I would like to hear it from one of you fuckers. Well, you see, your friend, the, the flesh golem, he was getting hurt, and I was trying to help him. Last time, you know, last time I tried to do this, something came and I thought it was going to, you know, attack you the things that were attacking beans. him. Yes. You have magical beans, and you threw a bean in there. Yes. Last time. I do, I do like your go gettedness but you, your your companion was in danger, and I was trying to help him. I I didn't not realize a giant danger. Pyramid. These red caps would all be dead before they could lick another drop of blood if they hurt Mickey. I that mean, he bad. was getting a little hurt. He's fine. I can heal him in a second. 
I was worried. I was worried for his life. Don't be causing any more ruckuses. Uh, Now, I expect you to take care of this pyramid. And whatever's inside. What do you mean, whatever's inside? Well, there's a goddamn opening. No, she's got a point. Mm. It does have an opening. True. Might just be a nice living space. Or a great tomb for later, if you ever need it. I, honestly, it's a gift. Silver linings, Maggie. I'm just saying, it's it's a sweet pyramid. This is take care of it, and she walks away with Mickey, <laughs> and the other redcaps are the quietest you've heard them in a while. And the further she gets away, the more they go back to normal. And they are ripping apart the bodies of the dead red caps and stealing anything they can and covering their hats in blood of their fellow red caps. Is the blood purple? It's a purplish tint to the redness. Good so, news is I now have 50 arrows and a soul coin. And, I guess and, it's, uh, and a big pyramid. Good, I'm feeling a lot better. Well, <laughs> Jarvis, do you know what's... what's uh? Do you know what's I, in there? Last time I threw this, something came out of the ground. It was not a pyramid. I don't understand how these work yet. I'm still learning. Cool. All right. So, well, um, I don't know. We may have just burned a little bit of our uh, gratitude around town with this one, but let's see what we can do about this pyramid, I guess. Uh, tally-ho, gentlemen. You and first. I, and I'll, <laughs> I'll take the lead, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, that's going to (laughs) suck. I'll take the lead. You go in the pyramid? I I hope the rest of the guys behind me are coming in the pyramid, too. But yes, yes, I do. (laughs) I'm in the back, whatever the back is in this filing order. Uh, I go cautiously and slowly. What does cautiously mean? Um, Half speed, looking for traps. Okay, make investigation checks. Not that that this is going to do any good. (laughs) <laughs> but I'm doing it. Uh, seven. <laughs> seven. Okay. Uh, you think you're good? Seems pretty, great. I'm pretty clean. I'm hallway. taking my steps in. Um, creeping forward. How big is the hallway? Is it a five or ten foot? Five. Five. Okay. Single file, boys. Um, Your mids are tight. I. Indeed. Yeah. Uh. Nothing happens. Should I should I be walking first? Because I have danger sense. It's too late now. Uh, All right. Uh, he already went ahead. You can be second or whatever. Um, yeah, I wouldn't help. Uh, you, nothing happens as you're walking in. Uh, you come to a smallish room, uh, ten by ten, with a large sarcophagus in the middle. Ten by ten, not very big. Okay. <clears throat> I look back to the guys. I'm mage armoring. Okay. Do we um, open I, it? Not not yet. Hold on one second. I'm just going to I utter a quick prayer to Hor and I do a divine sense standing next to it. Um, uh-huh. I know the location of any celestial fiend or undead that is not behind total cover. Hmm, this might not do anything. Mm-hmm. You don't sense anything. <laughs> don't sense anything. <laughs> Um. <clears throat> well, I'm going. To... Let me check one more thing. <laughs> hold on, oh, hold on. Man. Nope, don't have it prepared. That is a bummer. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> no protection Do from you, evil could for my, me. Could my spider like weasel his way through like the opening? You're that, already or, like, inside. The, into the or sorry, I meant into like the sarcophagus. Like, is there any way he could get into the sarcophagus? Um, he could try. He's gonna try. Okay. Uh, make a investigation check for your spider looking for a crack or opening. Almost forgot about homeboy. I haven't used him in a while. Um. Oh, it's not my investigation. It's his, huh? Yep. Sec. Probably a much sex. lower modifier. <laughs> yeah, considering mine was yeah. Um so investigation is stat. 
Intelligence. Intelligence. What's his intelligence? Beautiful. It is minus five. <laughs> Animals aren't very smart. <laughs> <sighs> What's the Seven. roll? Seven. You're not finding an opening in this thing. Your That's spider right. uh, crawls back up to you and on your shoulder. I just poof it out of existence again. Okay. All right, so this is what I propose. Um, <clears throat> this is a very tight space, so how about everybody goes outside. I'm, I'm going to shove this lid off and then run out. Or, Jerry, if you want to, I think you might actually be stronger than me. By all means, I will sure. let you do that. Are you sure we want to let it out into this population and piss off Maggie more? Well, we sure as hell can't fight it in this 10 by 10 foot space. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Very true. So uh, this is what it's going to be, and we're going to sort this out How it's going to be. So let's, uh, well, Jerry, let out should, a shout should, when should, you shove should. that lid off, and then you turn and t turn tail and run as fast as you can, because I have no idea what's in this. <laughs> um, if how if I were question, um, if I were flying, how heavy of an object could I carry with me? What's your strength modifier? Oh fuck, never gonna one. You are you? What are you trying to carry? Like, say there was something in here, and I wanted to get it far away from everything as possible. You want to carry the sarcophagus? No, whatever might be. I guess I don't know how heavy of whatever is in it, so my question is void. Yes. And you would have to grapple it, and yeah, it bad things be, might happen. It could try to get free. Yeah. It could be a teacup. Then, yeah, you can carry that flying. How big's the sarcophagus? Human sized, I assume. <laughs> it's it's ten. It's it's like nine feet by by. Yep. Never three. mind. <laughs> I digress. It's a tiny sarcophagus. Uh, yeah. I, uh, let's uh, everybody. Let's do it. I'm gonna stand just outside the entrance like to the side like standing ready to hit something that runs out behind jerry and jerry's okay oh 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 i know what i'm doing um before we do that um i'm going to um because i haven't used this yet let me read it real quick we're getting pretty close to where i might not want to start this encounter uh, if we take any more time. So yeah, I'm just trying to... I've, I haven't used my Conjure Minor Elementals before. I was thinking about throwing them in there before we run out. It's up to you. I mean, um, yeah, I'm just telling creatures you. are friendly to you and your companions while initiative for the summon creatures. Well, let's check in his turn. Uh, yeah. Um, as Kairos is running out, I'm going to be on the outside. I'm going to put... Um, How strong? Because I don't know the I don't know how challenge rating works. Um, what's Neither generally does like a? Oh yeah, that's true. I was, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna cast this as Kairos is running out. I'll be outside and I'm gonna cast them in because the Jerry's hallway I assume out, is like. I thought. Yeah, Jerry's oh, Jerry, running. Sorry. How I'm standing wide is this hallway? Five feet. Cool. So I'm going to. Um, um, I'm going to place uh, four elementals at a challenge rating of half or lower. And what would that be? Um, I guess, does Jarvis know what he could do as he learned this spell? Like, what kind of creatures yeah, he could does, cast? Like, I don't know what a minor elemental at a half challenge rating is, so you need to look up what that is. Okay. Uh, I'll save this for another game. I won't do it. I don't want to take any more time. Okay. Um, Sorry. You can, uh, but we'll probably just pick this up next time. It's up to you. No, nope, let's just do this fight. Okay. Uh, so, Jerry, you're going to push this lid open. Mm -hmm. Run out. Yep. Make a strength check. Athletics check. Twenty-four. Okay. Yeah, you shove it open, and a gush of poisonous gas comes out. Make a dex save, which I think you have advantage on because of 
Yeah, because of danger sense. Yeah. Um. Eighteen. Yeah, you're uh, good. You take. Uh, six points of poison damage. <coughs> and you run out? Or you stay in there? No, yeah, I run out. Okay, run out. Uh, a few seconds later, let's roll initiative. Sounds about right. 16. Kairos, 16. Six for me. Jarvis. Uh, 18. Gorillacos. Muted. 24. Okay. Coming out from the poison-filled hallway is a mummy lord covered in undead flesh and various... Basically, it's a mummy. It's various. Uh, <laughs> it's fabric. It's bailed on that description. <laughs> I really did. You know what's weird though is I watched uh, the mummy today, and I had plenty of stuff to pull on. I just, I don't. I, I was cool. Can the mummy have a South African accent? I cannot do a South African accent. Uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, frankly, uh, I hope the mummy doesn't talk to us at all. <laughs> well. Uh, roller coaster, you're up first. All right, I would like to be 30 feet away from the door. Yeah, sure. Take three sharpshooter shots. The first one is a 14. Sharpshooter shots. Sharpshooter shots. The second shots. one is 17. <laughs> and the third one is 13. You get three because of your cleric stuff? No, I get three on the first initiative attack with Dread Ambusher. Oh, okay. 17 um, is the armor class. She sells so sharpshooter second... shots by the oh. seashore. Only one Sally's shot a hit. Badass. That's 20 damage. Okay, 20. Anything else? That'll be it. Just to make sure I'm 30 feet away. Yep, you are. Jarvis. Jarvis, he's out, and I'm going to blight him. Blight. And that was, uh, it's con save of 15. Con save 15. It's a 21. Oh. Um... Half as much on a successful, or on a, yeah, half as much on a successful roll. Eight, eight, uh, twenty-three points of damage. I already halved it. Okay. And I'm gonna run. How far away do you want to be? Uh, I can go thirty feet more. I'm gonna go thirty feet. So you in want addition to... and to where I'm already at. Okay. So I don't six, know where I was. So we'll say 60 feet? Sure. Okay. Jarvis wouldn't have been in the entrance. He's not Jerry, you're at the entrance, or you could have ran further, but it's up to you. I run right up to that fucking mummy, mummy board. with my plus two maul. Uh, take a swing. I try to knock his head off. Uh, 21? Yes, hit. hits. I don't know why. I feel like it's been a few games since I swung this thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that is a 17. Okay. Take another swing. 20. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Another 17. Okay. Nice. Probably the best I've ever rolled damage-wise on that. Pretty good, Kairos. 
Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action. My eyes will flash silver and I'll um, utter an oath of vengeance against him and the abomination of undeath that he has become. And then um, <clears throat> that'll trigger my vow of enmity um, as a bonus action. I will get advantage on attack rolls um, for one minute. Then I'll hit him. Fuck, you guys are so goddamn lucky. <laughs> I forgot about legendary actions. I didn't scroll down. God damn it. Uh, yeah. Dogs. Are important. <laughs> uh, first attack is a 19 to hit. Okay. Second attack is a 21 to hit. Okay. And I assume he is just undead, not a fiend of undead, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. The first attack uh, does 10 points of damage. Second attack does 9 points of damage. Okay. And, yeah, it's first round. That second attack, I'm going to go ahead and uh, second level Divine Smite him. Because okay. everyone loves a Divine Smite. And I don't want him to do anything bad to us. But he's going to. We're so second fine. Level. We're so fine. And he isn't undead, so I get an extra d8. Ha ha! The smite. You need now. Hmm. Ten. So another 16 points of radiant damage. Okay. And I am done so. Okay. It's going to use a legendary action to utter a blasphemous word at Jerry. Jerry, make a constitution saving throw. Nat 20. Nice. You're good. Uh, now it's its turn. And it is going to... It's going to punch Jerry with a rotting fist. It's a 24... That hits. That's 12 bludgeoning damage, and you're not raging, right? Nope. Okay. And... Twenty-three necrotic damage. Jeez. Wish I'd raged. And then make another DC, uh, excuse me, constitution saving throw. Fifteen. Okay, you are cursed with mummy rot. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and your maximum hit points goes down by 13. Forever? As far as you know. <laughs> and I forget don't forget I forgot those legendary actions so <coughs> it's not my fault <laughs> yeah that first round could have hurt a lot more <laughs> uh yeah and then um that's it's turn oh never mind no it has another one sorry oh, okay. uh dreadful glare it has another action I mean it's multi-attack um, it's going to look at Rollercoast and dreadfully glare at him. Ooh. Make a wisdom saving throw there, Rollercoast. Do, 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 do. Oh, five. Oh, six. What are you uh, doing, bro? It stares at you, dreadful and you glare. see into the black abyss oh. of its eye sockets. And you are horrified and frightened, and you want nothing more than to get away from this mummy lord and uh you keep staring into it and then you're paralyzed uh you just feel your muscles seize up and you you're so scared you're paralyzed you just can't move I so am i forget. paralyzed or you're am i paralyzed. stunned paralyzed i did forget this so it happened already but uh jerry just so you know you're within 10 feet of me as long as you're within 10 feet of me all of your saving throws get a plus three yeah, you can get that next time uh, because that, I forgot. If that matters for next time so. because I forgot. 
I forgot my shit, so yeah. But no, it's all good. I wasn't saying we should wreck on. Yeah, I'm just I know. I'm telling him in hopes that somebody else remembers. Can't, I can't clearly remember. can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh okay. Uh Rollercoast, it's your turn, paralyzed. Okay. You're incapacitated. Can't move, can't speak. Do I get another save or No, it's till the end of its next turn. Okay. Then that is it. Jarvis. How far away from me are you, Kairos? Sixty feet. If you ran sixty feet away. Okay, so you're at the you were at the entrance of. Yeah. He, he was I'm, I'm feet face away. to face with the mummy lord. Rollercoaster was thirty feet away, uh, so you, he's about thirty forty feet away from you. Okay. Um, I thought Jarvis ran farther away. He did, but I'm thinking of. Gotcha. Ro- Rollercoaster as, as a different angle. Go so ahead. Rollercoast is thirty, but Kairos is sixty. Who are you asking? Kairos. Yes, me. Oh, Kairos. Okay, yeah. So yeah, yes, okay. yeah. 60. sixty. All right, I'm going to go thirty feet forward and give Kairos haste. Okay. Zoom, zoom. And and I forgot a legendary action again. God damn it! Is my turn. It's going to use legendary action to dreadfully glare at Kairos. Make a wisdom save, Kairos. Has it added? Okay. 25. Nice. You're good. Uh, Jerry. Uh, rage and uh, swing my maul again. Yep. Oh, 12. No. Take another swing and 11. So swing and a miss for Jerry. It's going to take another legendary action. And is going to um, it's going to blinding dust. Kairos and anyone who's within five feet. So that includes Jerry. Make a constitution save, you two. Remember, Jerry, you get a plus three. <laughs> there you nice. go. Uh, nat 20 for a 25. Okay. 12 for me. Uh, Jerry, you are blinded. I knew, I knew as soon as you said I was going to get Help on my saving throw. It wasn't going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Kairos, it's your turn. And I'm hasted. Um, okay, so I have my Vav Enmity still up, so I'm going to start thwacking him. Yep. Trying to at least 19. Yep. Uh, that's <clears throat> much better. 24 or something. And the third hasted attack is also 25 okay so three hits what do my spell slots look like okay uh first attack does nine points of damage okay along with it has some hard hits we need to kill him (laughs) (laughs) Uh, let's see here that's Plus another 24 points of radiant damage. Okay. So that's the second level slot. Okay, second hit. Does 10 points of damage. I can divine smite on multiple hits in a round, right? Uh, what does it say? On a hit. It it doesn't have any... Sure. It doesn't call it a spell, yep. so it's not... Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, this is a first level slot, oh, so it does... One die less damage. That one does twenty-four. Another twenty-four points of radiant damage. Okay. And the third hit. Just eleven points. Pretty close. I will not Pretty use that meta game knowledge close. to say I'm actually going to smite. Uh, no, I'm done. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> uh, it's going to make one 
rotting fist attack as a legendary action on you, Kairos. I get that. <laughs> it's a 20, Understand. not Understand. natural. Uh, my AC is 20. Damn. Yeah. Almost. With your haste? With my haste, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 14 bludgeoning plus... Okay. Nineteen 30, necrotic. 30 necrotic. <laughs> God, that hurts. And yep. make a Constitution saving throw. Right. Fifteen. Not gonna do it. And it's a curse, not a disease. Correct. Correct. Damn. Uh, that is. Your maximum hit point decreases by thirteen. Okay. And you're cursed. That's the rotting fist attack. Now it's its turn. Oh, and it's going to run. Or, uh, yeah, it's going to head on over to. <sighs> Who's it going to go after? No, it's gonna st slow as fuck. Uh, it's gonna stay with you, Kairos. Oh man. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to try to touch you. Uh, like a like a bad touch. Mm -hmm. and Make a con bit. save. Make a con save. Okay. Yes, twenty four. Nice. Oh no! Never mind. It's contagion. So, um. It's an attack. I fucked up. My bad. That's, uh... No, you said 20 is your AC, so that doesn't hit. Correct. 20 is my AC. Okay. You're good. Cool. And that's its turn. Rollercoaster, you're no longer paralyzed. Huzzah. Kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> Is it my turn now? Yes, so it's you... your turn. Oh, okay. I thought that was the end of his turn, so I was just <laughs> paralyzed. Get my two attacks. Sharpshooter, first one's a 16. Nope. Second one's a 19. Yep. Looking at me now, please kill it, please kill it. <laughs> Six plus five is eleven plus ten twenty one. You kill it. It's dead. <sighs> hey, everything's taken care you of. You think it's dead as it goes it disintegrates into dust. Okay, cool. It's gonna normally it's a gonna good sign something. that it's dead. <laughs> Alright. Hey guys, oh, first I can't see. First. One of you is blind, one of you is paralyzed, and what happened to Kairos? No, I'm no longer paralyzed. paralyzed. Two of us are cursed. We're cursed, but you can't tell that yet. <laughs> Unless there's a visible appearance to mummy rot. Uh, yeah, you, 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 where, yeah, you're where it touched you. There's some black and gray skin going on. Um, oh, no, we're we're okay. We're okay. Jerry, you okay? You're alive. Uh, I just can't see, but it's all good. You're good. Oh, you're good now see? on the scene. Oh, okay. And that's what we're gonna call it. Go cool. ahead, Jerry. What were you going to say, oh, Jerry? I just going to say I can see. You have sight now. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for listening or watching. Be safe out there. A lot of crazy shit going on. Don't be one of those assholes playing on the beach with groups of people. And uh, we'll be back next time, hopefully next Monday.
Uh, tomorrow? Next, yeah. next Monday, not tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, I would have, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll be back same time, same place. And be good to others, be good to yourself. Have a good one.